Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful colorful seed bead earrings. They're really easy to make and I'm showing you slowly and step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. I'm using really simple stuff, just seed beads and regular ear wires and that's all. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Another way to support me is to like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and I'll answer to all, all of your questions down there in the comments. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm using are three colors of 11 seed beads. Here I use ear wires, monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. I use size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers only to go through the difficult bead and to squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. So they are not absolutely obligatory. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to take 12 of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay guys, now I have my 12 here. Okay, and I'm going to slide them down almost until the end of my thread. I will put my needle in my mat. And now I'm going to make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pulling and then I will make one more knot just to be sure everything is nice and tight. And I'm going to pull and now I have this beautiful circle of beads here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go here through some beads. And here I'm going to start adding red beads, okay? I will take two red beads and as I'm exiting here from this bead, I will go back in circle through the same bead, okay? I'm adding two beads and going in circle. And you see what I have here. I have something like a loop between my yellow bead and these two red beads. Then I will go through two seed beads in this direction. Okay, like that. Going through two yellows after that step taking two more red beads and I'm going back in circle through this bead here and I'm pulling so I have the same thing here okay and I go through two beads okay then what I do is that I take two more seed beads Okay, like this and I'm going back through this one and if you can in one movement go also through the following two yellow beads and pull again. Okay. Now I'm going to continue taking two more red beads, go here. And two more times. Okay guys, now I have this. And what I'm going to do is go through this red bead as well. 
okay now what I do is that I flip my work and now I'm going to start adding two beads which are yellow red and yellow okay yellow red yellow and I will go through this red bead here then I'm going to take just one orange bead and go here to the next red one again yellow red yellow you see what I have go here through this red one take just one orange and go here inside okay like this then yellow red yellow and go here one orange go in the next red one and I'm going to continue this three more times And here guys pay attention in the last step that you should go through the red one and then through the yellow. Don't forget that you should go here through this red one. Don't make the mistake to go only through the yellow, okay? So now what I'm going to do is take five yellow beads. Okay, I have here my five and I will go here inside this yellow bead and through the red one as well and I'm pulling now I have this okay then I will go through this the, the orange and the red and here as well through the yellow bead okay I have this now then five more yellows okay five and I'm going here from one yellow exiting out of one of the yellows and through the other yellow then in my next step go if you can go through all of those three beads in one movement like this take five okay five and go here okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, and this is the last part from this row and now I'm going to go through all of those beads here. I'm gonna go here through the top and exit out of this middle bead here. So this is my top bead here I have three beads and what I do is that I exit out of this middle yellow bead so if you don't see my thread it's here here you see and now I'm going to take two green beads and I will go here in the middle 
through the same bead but from my next flower okay my next flower element now I have this and I'm going to take three seed beads like this a green one and I'm going through the same yellow bead which is in the center okay then through all of those green beads and here in my next element going through all of those beads in this direction okay exiting here again out of my middle bead you see here and then I'm taking two green beads and going through the other middle bead and pull and I want to take three more greens like that go through the same bead here okay and I'm pulling now I'm going here through these two beads again and in this direction okay go here through the same middle yellow bead take two greens go through the other middle bead Okay, like that then take three more greens and go here through this one okay and I'm going to continue this until I finish this circle and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row okay I'm adding them now guys this is what I have turning my work around okay then I'm going again through these three greens and what I want to do is go through all of those beads and exit out of my next green one here I want to exit here now guys I will flip my work in this direction because it's easier to work counterclockwise because I'm right-handed okay then I'm going to take three seed beads and go here like this Now you see this is what I have going here through all of those beads exiting out of my next green taking three more green beads going here pulling exit out of my next green take three more greens skip this one here in the middle and go like this then through the next green three skip one go here like this do this two more times and I'll meet you here okay and now here I'm adding my last three beads from this row and now what I want to do is exit out of my next green bead here green angle bead okay I'm here now and now I want to attach my ear wire and in order to do this I'm taking a seed bead my ear wire and one more seed bead 
Okay, I have this. I have an orange, an ear wire, and an orange bead. Okay, and I'm going here around in circle, making it stay like this. And I'm going to go two more times around here, reinforcing my work. Okay, then I will go here in this direction and I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, and in order to make a knot, I'm making here a loop and I'm going through this loop once and then I'm going here second time. And I'm pulling, then I will go through the following seed bead. Like this. And now I'm going to cut my thread. And my earring will be ready. Okay guys, and when I repeat these steps one more time, I have a beautiful colorful flower seed beads earrings and if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas if you want to support me you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and i answered to all of your questions down there in the comments and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.